symmetry is all around us. From plants to everyday items, we encounter objects that seem ordered and identical. But is the same true for their mirror images? A chiral object cannot be superimposed on its mirror image. It's different and often comes with a very different function. In nature, this phenomenon is present at all scales, from molecules up to galaxies. Chirality underpins many biochemical processes, determining whether certain chiral structures interact with others and how. In their article in Natural Sciences, Ikai, Yashima, and co-workers report on a quantitative, chemoselective, and diastereospecific approach towards the synthesis of unique, consecutively fused helicines. This study addressed the problem of lack of versatile and practical methodology to fabricate a helical molecular architecture in a predictable manner. This is important because the helix construction at molecular and supramolecular scale is a promising manner for creating material with high performance and advanced function. The authors targeted the synthesis of helicines, which are a typical class of non-planar polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons with a helically twisted pi-conjugated framework that consists of angularly fused aromatic units. Solving this requires the development of the new synthetic approach for the quantitative radar formation without inducing any side reaction. The approach was based on three anthracene-based cyclization precursors, which were shown to exist as a mixture of interconvertible diastereoisomers. In a following step, these precursors were subjected to a trifluoroacetic acid-promoted intramolecular alkyne benzenylations. The four, six, and eight-fold intramolecular cyclizations of the precursors were shown to proceed completely, thus quantitatively producing the expanded helicines without any byproducts. The authors then managed to separate the resulting racemic expanded helicines into enantiomers with the help of chiral chromatography, and these showed intense circular dichroism and circularly polarized luminescence. In fact, the triple expanded helicene showed the highest CPL brightness among all reported CPL active carbo and heterohelicenes and helicenoids, which can be attributed to the helicity inversion barrier being increased, leading to the first example of an optically active expanded helicene with a static herical chirality. This makes it a promising candidate for display applications in the future. The key novelty of this project is the first synthesis of the optically pure triple expanded helicine with a static helical chirality, and this showed the highest GPL performance among the all the reported helicine and their derivatives. To learn more about this study, please visit the Natural Sciences website.